college She studied sculpture at St. Martin's College That's where I Bought her eye She told me that her dad was loaded And said in that case I'll have rum and Coca-Cola She said fine And in 30 seconds time I want to live like common people I want to do whatever common people do I want to sleep with common people I want to sleep with common people like you So what else could I do? I said I'll see what I can do Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Welcome to this easy song from stage one of the Justin Guitar Beginner Songbook. Now, first thing is we're on page 26 and we have a capo on the third fret. That's the third fret if you want to play along with the record, but if you don't have a capo, it's completely cool to play the song without a capo at all and just use the open chords. Now, being that this is a stage one song, we only have three chords, and that would be A, D, and E. So hopefully you're familiar with the chords. I'm not going to go through how to play the chords in this lesson. Um, and if you're doing stage one properly, you probably know as well that at this point we should really only be thinking about doing very basic four down strums in the bar strumming. So I'm going to show you that first, and we'll go through the song and make sure we got the right number of bars and all that sort of stuff. And then I'll take you through the kind of uh, strumming I was using just then at the in the little intro part, which is called pumping eighth notes, really. Um, so first, really important thing is how many times do you play each chord? Now, as you know, in this book, we write the chord once for each one bar that you should play the chord, unless there's little bar lines there. So if you look at this, you'll see that that first A chord there is written four times. So that means we're going to play it four strums per bar, four times, total of 16 strums. Uh, now, what I'd recommend you do when you start off with these tunes is just to play the four down strums for each chord and kind of look at the chord and play them. So let's go through the actual kind of form, because once you've got the form right, it's repeated through all of the verses there. So uh, we're starting with an A chord. Uh, the intro is just an A chord, by the way, too, if you just wanted to strum it for a couple of bars. If you're playing along with the record, just stay on the A until the singing starts. Then we've got this A chord. So it's A, two, three. We're changing to E, two, three, four. Second time to E. There's a third time that E's written. And a fourth time that E's written. And then it's back to A. Two, three, four. And the second time, two, three, four. And the third time A's written. Remember, four strums on each one. That's the fourth time it's written. And then to E again. Pulling my head around like I'm a metronome. And that, of course, is four bars as well. There's the third bar and fourth bar. And then it changes to the chorus in D. Wanna live like two, two, three, two, three, four, four, two, and then back to A. back at the start of the progression. So you can see it's pretty simple. We're doing kind of blocks of four bars on each chord, which makes this a really, really good beginner songs when you've just done A, D, and E chord. So you don't have that many chord changes to worry about, and that's really what you want at the kind of the early stages of beginner stuff. So let's put in a bit of the lyric now for it as well, so you can kind of see how the lyrics and the chords are fitting together. So like I said, first step is just really counting the chords, playing them along really slowly. Don't worry about trying to sing and play at the, at the early stages. It's a really bad idea, right? So just really nice, simple. Concentrate on trying to get your four down strums nice and evenly spread apart, you know? So it's not like two are kind of closer together than the other one. So nice and even. You might want to use a metronome, although at this stage, you know, if you're doing stage one, wouldn't worry about the metronome too much. Just kind of concentrate on trying to get the, the strums nicely spaced apart. 
So um, we'll put the put some chords in, uh, some words in now as well. So we're starting off with the A chord. Three, four, A. She came from Greece. She had a thirst for knowledge. She studied scripture at St. Martin's College. That's where I. That's the E chord. Second bar. I caught her eyes, a third bar, and a fourth bar. Now back to A. She told me that her A was loaded. A. I said, in that case, I'll have a rum and cola. She said, E, two, three, four, E. And then in 30. Seconds time. She changed to D. I wanna live like D chord people. I wanna do what D chord common people A. I wanna sleep with A chord people. A. I wanna sleep with A chord people like E. Two, three, four. Well, what else could I eat? I said, I'll see what I can eat. And then went back to the top of the sequence again. So it's actually pretty simple. There's a lot of verses in this, a lot of text to get through. So singing and playing, it gets a little bit fun. But again, once you've nailed the first verse and you feel kind of confident with that, putting the rest of the lyrics over the top shouldn't be difficult because the chord sequence stays the same all of the way through. So first up, really just doing what I did then, nice and slowly trying to play along that even strumming. Now, once you're through that and you're cool with that, you might want to try doing this pumping eighth notes. Now, you're probably aware that we've got in a bar these four strums, one, two, three, and four. And if we divide each beat into two, we normally count it one and two and three and four and. And that would be one bar then, kind of eight kind of playable kind of divisions of the bar and in this case we're going to use all down strums so one and two and three and four and down 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 which takes a little bit of energy for this hand to kind of get going on uh, the difficulty for most beginners I guess when they're trying to do this eighth note strumming is is where to get the pick going from because really when you're playing an A chord the thickest string that should be played should be the fifth string so you should miss out the thickest string altogether now, a lot of people cheat here, like me, and you put your thumb over the top of the guitar and rest it on the thicker string when you're playing an A chord, so that way I don't have to be quite as careful when I pick. But really, for complete beginners, I recommend getting the thumb behind the neck to, to kind of develop your muscles a little bit in preparation for learning bar chords later. For this, if you want to, you could sneak the thumb over there for the A chord, if it'll reach comfortably. If not, just try and get your picking hand to kind of focus itself on the A chord around the fifth string. So one and two and three and four and down, 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 down. That's the way to do it. Now when it changes to the D chord, ideally you want the down picks to really start from the fourth string. So you're missing out the thickest two strings completely. And that that can be a little tricky for beginners to be that accurate with the pick. Luckily with the D chord, it doesn't really matter if you accidentally hit the fifth string as well, because the note A is part of a D chord. Uh, don't let yourself get confused by that stuff yet, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to sound bad if you accidentally hit the A string while you're playing the D chord. And with the E chord, when it changes to that, you just you know strumming all the strings so it doesn't really matter. You Generally for the E chord when you're doing that eighth note one, I'm mainly focusing on the thick strings. You don't have to, again, you can strum all of them if you like, but it sounds kind of a bit cooler if it's just the thicker strings. So, you know, but it's up to you. You've got, you've got to learn with these things and, and, and don't be put off if you can't do everything the, the way the song is like the record at the right speed and all of that straight away. If you're a stage one guitar player, you've only just started. So, you know, be cool with just being able to play the tune through at all. Um, and this is quite a nice one to play along with the record too. You don't have to play the eighth notes. You can, you can, beginning from Greece, she had a thirst for knowledge. That speed is enough. Culture at St. Martin's College, that's where I 
you can do that. You can play along with the record, and that's cool. It's good, a really good, fun kind of track to play along with, and, it, and it's always fun to play along with the records if you can. And that's why we're worrying about putting the capo at the third fret. So we've covered eighth notes. Let me play it once through again, a little bit slower, but with the eighth note strumming, just for the, you guys that are kind of getting into that and you're not ready for the full tempo one. So if we had, and, and again, of course, when I'm playing along, I'm always going to count this three, four in. So we go three, four, and then you join in on the one, right? So if we had uh, three, four. She came from Greece. She had a thirst for knowledge. One and two. E. E. I caught her I E two three four one and two and changing back to A. And now we go to the chorus that starts on D. One and two and three and four and 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 one, two, three. The common people. I want to sleep with common people like you. So really just trying to develop that pumping eighth notes if you want to develop it sooner. As I said, don't be in a rush though for, the, for stuff like the eighth note strumming, because really the idea with the, the songbook and these videos is to give you something to work on now if you're a beginner and you're stage one, just really concentrate. You know, if you're doing it like she came from Greece, she had a thirst for knowledge. If you can do it at that speed and you're really concentrated, it's great, as long as you can play through it. And then the idea of giving you stuff like this pumping eighth notes pattern is, is something to come back to so that the song can kind of grow with you. As you get better as a guitar player, you can start adding in these other things. So don't be in a rush to do everything all at once, but uh, hopefully that'll get you playing this song along with the record. It's lots of fun, great tune. Have fun with that, and I'll see you for another lesson or another song very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.